All eyes are on the sun this week. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, we do have a lot of active regions in Earth view, but all our focus is on region 3182. We knew this region was coming even before it rotated into view. In fact, on the 3rd, it fired a big solar flare that Stereo A saw and a big solar storm, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. Meanwhile, we knew it was coming. This is actually regions 3162 and 63 from clear back in December, if you can remember. We followed this through the sun's far side through the helioseismology uh, monitor from JSOC, and we actually could watch as the regions 3162 and 63 rotated to the sun's far side. They continued to grow even through the far side, and so we knew when this region was going to rotate back into view, it could give us some decent shows, and it did not disappoint. On the 6th, wham, right there, it's hardly rotated into view, and it launches an X12 flare. Now, there's not a solar storm with this, with this uh, particular flare, and the flare was reasonably fast, but we did get some decent radio bursts from it up into about the 100 gig, uh, megahertz range. And so we're still going to be paying attention to it. You can actually see all the electrical activity going on as it's continuing to rotate into view. We'll get a better uh, look at it, but we do have a decent risk right now for X-class flares because likely that's what's going to continue. Now, as we take a look at our sun's far side, this is stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side, we can actually capture that uh, event back on the third. Wham! Right there you see that big big flare. We don't know the class. It was likely an X class. This was, again, from region 3182, right prior to it rotating into Earth view. But here's the thing. You can actually watch when that flare happens. You can watch it kind of evacuate all of this overlying stuff. And that is the solar storm that was launched. That solar storm has now hit Parker Solar Probe. When we take a look at the models, you can actually see it hit Parker Solar Probe, bullseyed it right there about on the 4th. So we've been paying attention to this, but the thing is, is that when it evacuates that much uh, overlying field, it typically means that you're not going to have another solar storm launch from it. So Aurora photographers, if you're waiting for this region to rotate into the Earth strike zone, well, it may not deliver a solar storm for us. It may just be a bunch of these fast radio blackouts. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders and those in dealing with space traffic and launch just realize we might have issues with up to about a R3 radio blackout over this next week and possibly two weeks before this region rotates out of view. For more details on this week's space weather, including how these X flares could affect space traffic and space launch, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.